Henry is confronted by Vicky about a rash of vampire-related murders of models. She believes that the culprit is a vampire named Christina, and believes his judgment is clouded because as we see through flashbacks, Christina happens to be the vamps that turned him. Soon another crime scene emerges with a group of scantily clad women also drained of blood. Detective Salucci tells Henry to give up Christina. Henry believes that she's innocent and that whoever is doing this is there to frame her and vows to find the real killer. Henry, while seducing and feeding on a woman that he's trying to extract info from, senses someone else around. He tells the girl to run and asks the entity to show themselves. The person leaves a calling card. Looks like it's Christina. Meanwhile, back at the office, the detectives on the case find evidence missing, believing that Henry is working against them. Henry gets back to his place and finds Christina waiting on his bed in a sexy dress. After some flirting and then a quick thing out standoff, you feel it, don't you? Nerves on fire, blood pounding, reason just a little shaky. You can't help it. You want to tear me to pieces, but in a good way. Not at all. Liar. She explains that she is not the vampire killer and that it's a guy named Alexander who is a stalker ex out for her over territory. Henry tells Christina that it, he's willing to help her as long as she leaves town after Alexander is taken care of. Henry tells Vicky about the visit from Christina who is disturbed that he believes her. Just as he's talking about their bond, Christina appears in her office stating she wanted to meet the competition. She pulls the jealous ex routine, telling her how she doesn't seem to be his type and basically calling her ugly before disappearing into the night. Vicky eventually finds out Alexander is covering himself as a male model, which explains his access to the female ones and his connection to Christina, who is a photographer. On top of the coroner letting them know that the victim's wounds show that the murders were done carelessly, they begin to believe Christina might be innocent. Henry meets up with Christina in front of a theater. They flirt and he bites her. They then argue about the very distant past and what ended their relationship, then about the circumstances around Alexander. Meanwhile, Vicky gets a meeting with Alexander's sister. She states he disappeared after meeting a woman and couldn't have done any of the bad things he's blamed for. She hands Vicky a picture, taken in the daytime six months ago, which would mean that Alexander has only been a vampire a few months, contrary to Christina's story. Vicky tries to tell Henry about the deceit, but Henry wasn't hearing it. He states that if Christina turned him, he would be devoted to her and wouldn't be able to turn on her so soon. She throws that logic back at him, insinuating that his judgment is clouded, though through flashbacks we see that she taught him to feed for nourishment and not to kill. It's so easy for us to go from hunter to hunted. That is why you drink and resist the kill. Given into bloodlust. It's many a young one's undoing. You drink what you need, not all you can. You took sick of ones, saw them. Go home and sleep. People are so fragile, easily manipulated and easily broken. Sometimes our power over them can be so intoxicating. But you can't! you said all this before! Must you treat me like a simpleton? I'm of noble blood. Yes. Of course. And soon you'll leave me. Never. Yes. I'll make you. Detectives decide to stake out at Christina's show, and Vicky brings Alexander's sister, who believes that she can appeal to his senses. Henry shows up and confronts Christina, admitting to her after an earlier run in with Alexander that it's obvious she recently turned him and threw him away. While this is happening, Vicky, on the scaffolding above the theater, finds a dead stagehand. She notices some empty boxes and realizes that the regular lights had been replaced with UV lamps, which would fry Christina and Henry. Vicky gets the lights, but not before they are turned on. Henry saves Christina and allows her to feed on his arm to recover, much to Christina's dismay. Henry goes to confront Alexander before he could attack his sister. 
After making his sister forget the events of the night, Alexander explains what Christina did to him and that he was not a vampire by choice. Alexander says that he's fine now that someone knows what happened and asks Henry to kill him, which he does Mortal Kombat fatality style. Back at the office though, Christina goes to confront Vicky. Vicky tells her she knows that she just used Henry to hunt down Alexander and fake the careless deaths of the models to look like she was being framed. Christina responds to Vicky with a lot of, I really want to suck your blood right now talk, but before she could bite Vicky, Henry appears and tells her to leave it or he'll kill her. One day, you're going to beg him to turn you so you can be like him, like me. It won't matter what happens next. Even if you lose him, you won't be able to help yourself. <sighs> People are all the same. You're wrong. You broke the only code that matters. The one that keeps order. I left Alexander on the roof. In an hour, the sun will take his body. Like you took his soul. Once again, I've cleaned up your mess. If I catch you in my territory again, I will kill you! The episode ends with Detective Salucci lecturing Henry about victims not having closure. In this episode, Christina was played by Canadian actress Laura Manel. This wouldn't be the last time that she would play a vampire, and she would later go on to play the vampire antagonist Rebecca in the sci-fi original series Van Helsing, something we'll get to in another time. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to know every time I update. If you want to help my channel grow, please check out my Patreon where you can get access to content early as well as see the content that can't be uploaded here on YouTube. Link will be in the description. Until next time.